Welcome aboard everyone, Simon here from the Wales of Wall Street. Guys, quick video here, obviously with eGold going up over 40% in the charts over the last 48 hours. Hollow Ride is something that we covered a while back, um, maybe a month or so ago. We can leave a link to that right now in the video, but check that out after this one, of course. So guys, Hollow Ride, the ride token uh, being very much around the aspect of being able to drive around, well obviously if you're a driver you're not going to do this unless you're absolutely crazy, but as a passenger and bear in mind as we go into autonomous vehicles in the future and you want entertainment, um, this is going to be absolutely huge. So the ride token being a, an aspect of buying and selling things within these games as well as earning along your journeys, um, of course ride will be utilised in that way in the future. So right now guys, on the my exchange the mex platform uh, we've shown you recently about the e-gold and mex uh, staking capabilities um, and liquidity pools uh, but they have now added in the farming aspect of the ride token um, bear in mind though guys that the harvesting is not currently live as of recording it should be hopefully later today uh, but you can at least get prepared for that and we've also got the earn ride so the staking mechanism um, which is currently in maintenance but again I believe this is supposed to be completed today so by the time you probably watch this video tomorrow or something you will probably have this all up and running and live. The opportunity to stake your locked mechs to earn the ride token, as well as creating liquidity using eGold to get your ride tokens as well, with re really big initial APR and APY offerings. Of course, these change as time goes by um, and depending on supply and demand, etc. But the opportunities are there. We're currently floating just over that $2 billion mark of eGold being locked into farms currently. Um, and just confirmations as well here from uh, Benjamin, Benjamin, I can't remember how to say his name anyway, uh, founder of, of Elrond. Uh, Maya Dex platform will form several upgrades, so some of that has happened already. Uh, the liquidity pool is open, the farm is open, and the withdrawal penalty is set to zero. And if we just go into a bit more detail, he does mention here, to be clear, the e-gold and ride farm is open. However, the rewards are disabled for now. So don't worry too much about that. But if you're looking to get involved uh, before it all starts, or certainly in the next couple of days, uh, don't rush these things. Take your time to get your head around them and get involved because you don't want to make any mistakes. Uh, if you want a video on how to um, utilize uh, MEX or get MEX or lock it or use liquidity pools within this platform, let us know just in in the preparation of that video. If you want it, let us know in the comments. We'll do it hopefully later today for you, if not tomorrow. Uh, but to prepare, you could at least remove your e-gold off the exchanges into either the Maya wallet or the Elrond wallet, uh, the web browser version. Uh, but if you need help with that, you can let us know as well and we can talk you through that. So I've successfully got the locked mechs that I had from staking Elrond on the Elrond wallet for the last uh, you know, six to nine months or whatever. Uh, that is now in fruition and earning uh, mechs uh, on a daily basis. You can see it's going up every 10 seconds or so uh, with monetary value. I've now got mechs as well from the earning of the mechs token of locked. So that's now going into its own pool as well. So I've got two loads going there and I've got my liquidity farm. I just literally as a tester because it's the first time, ironically, I've done a liquidity pool, um, obviously utilizing one e-gold to, um, or half an e-gold, sorry, to obtain uh, MEX tokens and using the other half of the e-gold to combine them because you need two uh, equal values of the two tokens to be able to do a liquidity pool. So I've got a small amount in there as well and earning on that one also. And I've put mine in locked status um to put that into more detail is you have the option of just doing ones where you can harvest and take them out as and when you like but i've got mine unlocked because the rewards are significantly higher compared to the rewards you get normally albeit that that is still very good indeed so look at that guys very nice things going on there and it's the same thing for e-gold uh, ride right now showcasing aprs of over four thousand percent of course like i said that fluctuates i'm really interested in this if it stays like that for earning ride and staking that could you imagine a ten thousand percent apr for for staking um lkmx so locked mechs 
either way i will be doing that but like i said uh, there's a multitude of different ways you can do it of swapping tokens from e-gold to max or lock tokens etc and utilizing the liquidity farm but as i said if you want information on that how to do it let us know in the comments and we will get that video done for you as soon as possible but yeah for me the ride um integration is going to be phenomenal of course uh if you're locking them in you're going to have them in there for about a year anyway uh, but I think this project is obviously still in development and in a year's time, it's probably going to be very mature and ready to go. So in this meantime, why not get some good earnings on these tokens uh, for free, if you like, um, before the grand finale launches? It's going to be great. There's big partnerships with big car companies already. You can imagine, like I said, forget what you see as concept videos think about the future of autonomous vehicles you're sitting in cars that are driving themselves you've got nothing else to do or you've finished work this is what's going to happen and even from today's perspective you got kids or whatever in the back seats forget the ipads forget the the crappy screens on the back of your seats this is the future guys earning tokens earning a living potentially from just sitting around in cars getting involved in games and other environments and i'm sure films will come this way as well eventually not just gaming experiences so get your thinking hats on on that one because there's so much that is, has capabilities in this sector let's look at the price of elrond smash that like button if you like what you hear and see and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already so we can keep you updated on projects in general but also any kind of launches like these occurring as well so on the chart as we can see a nice 44 percent ish uh rise in the last 40 hours or so uh taking us up to um some nice new levels uh, what you've got to anticipate is whenever you see these big launches, this was around when the ride token, uh, sorry, the MEX token was going into big fruition as well. Um, there's always a story behind these rises, usually, uh, as well as organic movements. And it's clear that we see, we saw that one, we covered that area, we've covered this one, albeit maybe a day late. I've had issues, serious issues with my ankle <laughs> last week or so. So it's been difficult to do videos whilst on medication and stuff, as you can imagine. Uh, but here we are covering this topic of course you, you can't do too much major analysis because yes you're going to hit see some resistance levels but in reality uh, my opinion on this is this is very much related to the excitement around things like liquidity pools like staking opportunities people are going to be jumping in going wow i want a piece of this i want to get involved and they've heard about it late uh, or this that and the other so you know it's it's kind of against like the laws of of like investment or uh, opportunities within charts if you like um but you can you can get some elements of that i mean there's obviously some resistance here potentially at this kind of area around 332 that we've seen across the board and particularly around these areas but like i said um you know from a price discovery mode this isn't because of like organic volume or anything like that it's purely from excitement of projects going on within the project so just bear that in mind um you know people are jumping in probably for trying to obtain mechs and and getting those ride tokens or getting involved um so like i said it's not too much principal analysis we're going to do on that we're just going to be realistic on this channel we're just going to give you a load of nonsense about oh we're hitting resistance we're hitting support this that and the other i truly believe these last few days have been around this kind of announcement so you know from an investor's perspective of course you might have some boundaries of people putting limit orders and this that and the other that's where we do look at the fib tracings and quite clearly um we're looking at this kind of macro level of the fib retracement uh we've got one down here at we at 306 and we've got one um anticipating around 339 which we're slowly approaching we have raised around about a hundred dollars over these last two three days so just keep an eye on it from an investor's perspective just understand the situation is what i'm saying um don't get too bogged down with you know its price point and, and you know uh, resistance and support mechanism just appreciate what is happening um, it's no different to the metaverse jump ups, of course. Um, and then, of course, people will take profits as an investor because you're going from a, a nice 232 position to, to 321. Um, you know, it's, it's quite a big move there. And as we get to these high regions, potentially 360 and maybe beyond to 400 mark, you will start seeing some fluctuations in price. So just bear that in mind. And from an indicator performance perspective, clearly going to be up on all of them anyway we've had a big month for elrond irrespective of this tail down uh, we've had a lot of volume coming in and out we're just showing you for example two billion 
dollars worth of Elrond uh, e gold is currently being staked and locked into liquidity pools on the MEX platform, which is actually incredible, really, if you think about monetary value. Um, so it's no no um, surprise really of these great greens that we're seeing here on the indicators. The buy mechanism is in there as well. Um, and like I said, you've got to be cautious of the situation um, and play it by ear because it's not one of those kind of organic perspectives. It's just something purely based on an announcement and activity on the platform itself. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. Um, not major analysis here. I just wanted to give you an, a heads up as to why this is moving and give you a heads up as well as to any moves that you're making in the in the price movements of the charts. Just be cautious of what we are dealing with right now. And that will tail off eventually as people will already get their uh, the the amount of uh, e-gold they need to do what they need to do in the platforms um, and then hopefully the excitement of ride the excitement of mechs will continue a bit more of an uprise anyway just always try and leave some e-gold behind if you are investing and not put it all into liquidity and farming because you might want to have some back to take advantages of the rises and falls of course so that being said guys thanks for watching if we want to if you want to see a video on liquidity pools and how to get that across into the max platform let us know we will do that video as soon as possible we are here for the people thanks for watching guys we'll update you in the next couple of days as we get more involved with the ride token on the max platform take care guys bye bye